Hi everyone, Christina here. Welcome to another YouTube video at my channel and blog. Today I'm going to be doing a really quick mail art design using an image from a new stamp set from New Instuck. This is their Stamp Timber collaboration set. So like the other collaboration sets that I've shown you this month, this one is limited edition with limited quantities. So if you really want the stamp set, you're going to want to get on that really quick, especially because this stamp set actually came out I think a day ago. So I'm a little bit late to the game, but I hope you guys still enjoy the idea. This cute little image with a cat holding a sign. Um, there are other images similar to this out there where there's like a space for you to put a greeting. And the idea behind today's mail art is just extending that area so that you can put in a person's mailing address. So it's a super simple idea. I hope you guys enjoy. So here is that stamp set by Newton's Nook. It has some fun dogs, and I think that's maybe a raccoon or a skunk, I'm not entirely sure. And then a cat, which of course is Newton. And I'm going to be using the image of the cat with the sign in right in front of it. So the envelope I'm using today is a Nina Solar White envelope. And I placed it inside my Misty stamp positioning tool, and I have the flap open. And I'm placing that cat stamp and positioning it over on the left hand side. And then because I want to extend the ends of the sign, I'm going to use some masking tape to protect those lines that I do not want ink on. I'm going to very carefully place them over those lines. And I like to use tape for this because then I can tape it to the misty door and it holds it in place while I add some ink. I'm using some amalgam ink from Gina K Designs and I'm really squishing it on there making sure it really coats every single area of that stamp. I'm going to next remove the masking tape using some tweezers so I don't get my hands all inky and then immediately stamp that image. You have to work fairly quickly because you want that ink to still be nice and juicy on the lines of the stamp. So that worked out perfectly and now I'm going to pencil in the recipient's name and address. So this is a name that I got um, from my giveaway submissions. So Dana did give me permission to use her address for a mail art video. So this is Dana's address and I penciled that on so I would know how long I needed my banner to be. And then I used a T-square ruler and a very thin marker to extend the lines of that banner slash sign. So I ended up actually thickening up the lines on this entire scene here. Um, I wanted the lines to be a little bit thicker, but for that moment, I just wanted the lines to match up with the width of line that was used on the stamped image. So then I took a pilot envelope addressing pen and went over that penciled area with, a, with, the, with the black lines. And you'll notice that those don't line up entirely with what I penciled on before. Um, I do this quite often. I like to pencil things on just to kind of get some spacing. And then once I do the final writing, I do tend to move things around a little bit and space them out differently. So like I mentioned before, I did thicken up those lines and then I came in with some colored pencils. So I'm just going to let this run. I'll turn on a little bit of music in the background, um, but just for your information, I used some Faber-Castell colored pencils and just did some really, really simple coloring on the cat and sign.
after all the coloring was complete, I picked out some postage stamps for that top corner of the envelope, and I used this vintage stamp that has two cats on it, and one of them is an American short hair cat, which is the kind of cat that I colored on my envelope. It's also the same breed of cats that my two cats are, Sophie and Daphne, so I love these type of cats. And then I used a more current stamp. This is a forever stamp that has a Maine Coon cat on it, which coincidentally, my brother and sister-in-law have two Maine Coon cats, and they look just like that cat that's on that poster stamp. So that's the envelope for today. Once again, if you want to pick up this stamp from Newton's Nook, you might want to act quick, more quickly than um, other types of stamps. This could sell out quickly, so you'll want to grab it while you can. Thanks for watching today's video. I'm so happy with how this turned out. It's nice and simple. Not all mail art has to be really involved and intense. It can be very simple like this and it can still have a lot of impact. On screen right now, I've got two more mail art ideas for you to check out. And before you go, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up that lets me know you liked it and that you want to see more mail art videos like this. Once again, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in another video very soon.